Storm Team 29 forecast. Well, after a frosty cold start, we managed to get some above average temperatures today. Hello, I'm Storm Team 29 meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick and for Eric tonight. This is the view this morning from Charlottesville showing us frosty rooftops. Temperatures were near or below freezing at sunrise, followed by, yeah, look at the frost melt away around 9 a.m. We had some uh, sunshine and clouds mixed today in that sky, a little breezy and brisk at times, but the southwest breezes boosted temperatures into the 50s. Now the winds turn to the northwest tomorrow, bringing in some cooler temperatures back in the 40s for the next couple of days. Right now, your five o'clock readings are now in the upper 40s to near 50. Harrisonburg, Stanton, Waynesboro, upper 50s still at the airport in Charlottesville, but we will all fall through the 40s and then the 30s and perhaps a few upper 20s by daybreak. NBC 29's exclusive dual pole triple Doppler radar is on the dry side. It will stay that way despite a cold front coming across the region. It is increasing our clouds from west to east, but nothing the way of rain, sleet, or snow anytime soon. But it will bring us some chilly temperatures. The winds are turning more to the northwest from the Great Lakes, the Ohio Valley that will drop our temperatures back down into the 40s tomorrow and also Wednesday. Future cast shows yes, yeah, some uh, clearing skies as we head into tomorrow. Some snow across the Allegheny front into West Virginia that will never make it over the high country into our region. And then we're going to see some more sunshine, blue skies ahead for tomorrow and then increasing clouds as we head into Wednesday as a developing big time storm system develops across the upper plain states, the Midwest, Central Plains. This system is the next one I'm watching from the Weather Center. So the next big thing I'm watching is that storm system now taking shape into California, give, giving those folks some beneficial valley rain and mountain snow. This system will head our way in pieces. The first one comes at us on New Year's Eve on Thursday, maybe a couple of showers, but right now the trends are for drier skies at midnight on New Year's Eve, and then more rain arrives on Friday for New Year's Day. And it could be cold enough as we go into Friday morning that the Shenandoah Valley uh, could have a little bit of sleep mix in, but overall it's a chillier rain now with those northeast breezes as we get locked in with some cooler air on Friday. We're dry Saturday, and then another batch of rain may head our way for next Sunday. It does look like about an inch of rain is going to be likely on Friday, Thursday into Friday, and that would be manageable. Flooding right now is not expected. Snowfall wise, well, no snow over the next seven to 10 days for the overnight tonight. Partly cloudy skies chilling on down to about freezing by daybreak. And then as we go into your Tuesday daytime highs, cooler, more average for this time of the year. Sunshine, blue skies, northwest breeze, barely out of the 30s in the valley tomorrow. Low 40s to mid 40s, Charlottesville, Orange to Louisa and Lake Monticello. Michael and Sun, seven day forecast. Uh, 30s and 20s tomorrow night, 40s on Wednesday, increasing clouds, rain likely, especially Friday. Couple showers Thursday, high of 60, cooler with rain on the first day of the new year.